the three fourth quarter scoring drives Rodgers did. And receiver Christian Watson took an end around 46 yards for a touchdown in the closing minutes after Jair Alexander intercepted Justin Fields. And Green Bay rallied to beat Chicago 28-19 on Sunday. I mean, Watson doesn't stop catching touchdown passes. Aaron Rodgers after the game. You know, they got a talented quarterback who's got a chance to be around for a long time. Really good running back. Stud young receiver. EQ making plays. So it was a competitive game, but definitely didn't want to be walking in here, losing to the Bears. It's been, it's been a nice eight straight for us. <laughs> so I'm like, no matter, losing to the Bears. <laughs> Did Sunday's win put to rest the speculation about the Packers starting quarterback situation for more on that? And of course, all things Chicago, David Kaplan, host of cap and Jay hood on ESPN 1000 Chicago with us going on cap. What up cap? What up? Good morning. How we doing? See, no What's one, happening? No one can say that this show doesn't have a lot of cap right or wrong. <laughs> We do. A lot of cats. No? This show got a lot of cap. We yeah, start with you. Yeah, exactly, right. Key. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Cap? Uh, what do you think about Rodgers? Did he just put the speculation to rest about who's the starting quarterback is there? I think he did, although he was waving to the crowd and having fun like I still own you, basically. Let me just tell you something. Those fans up at Green Bay, they know what's coming. They know we've got $130 million in cap space or thereabout sitting at the second pick. They know what that light is down in the tunnel, the train called Justin Fields. He's a beast, and we are going to take over the North. I yeah, man, it looks that. that way. It definitely looks that way. Yeah, if they, if, Cap, if they could spend that money wisely and draft wisely, my good friend Ryan Poles, my buddy, um, <laughs> In free agency, because they're going to have, there's going to be some notable receivers that's going to be available. There's going to be a, a, a few running back. The running back list is crazy. The running back list is is probably about 15 of them that you could take any one of them, and be satisfied. That's going to be available. I think that the Bears are coming. There's no question about it. But as long as 12 is in that division and in near Chicago and they play in Chicago, I think 12 is going to have a number for a little bit. It just happens that have- way. Maybe next year because it takes time to yeah. you know, get talent and then learn how to win. But I'm telling you, that it felt different yesterday. I'm watching the game with Coach Wanstead, Alex Brown, and Lance Briggs. And when we got done with our post game, all of them said, enjoy it, Aaron, because it's about to change. Oh, it feels that way. Cap, with the next couple of games, the Eagles at home, then the Bills at home, and then at the Lions – Considering the way – and Justin Fields, even though he didn't play great yesterday, but still carrying the entire load offensively, when do you start into the conversation of shutting him down? Or do you, do you just play him throughout it all? Um, if the doctors say he is at no greater risk than any other player, then he's a football player he plays. If there is one half of 1% that he's not right, you're done. See ya. You're out. We'll see in the spring. Let's get that thing right because there's nothing to be gained now. Yeah, well, the meatball in me wanted to beat Green Bay because I despise that team. I grew up in Chicago. It's the way I was raised. But I would absolutely shut him down if there's at any risk. It's a greater risk than what the value is of getting reps on a bad football team. Like that interception – in the end zone, the Jair Alexander jump. That's not a Justin. That's not a lousy receiver named Equinemia St. Brown. He's just not very good. Yeah. So yeah. the other one was a Hail Mary. You got to get receivers in here. You got to get more offensive linemen. And then let's see what happens. Yeah, the number one, the number one thing for me with the Chicago Bears is the first thing that I'm going to do in my salary cap is I'm going to get me a wide out. And that's not because I played the position. That's because I know in order to develop that young man, and Equinini is St. Brown, nice guy. It's, it's cool. He's a, you know, he's a, a number, a body on the field. But he needs to be a receiver to help the quarterback, and that's not what he has right now. He doesn't have a professional receiver. Cap. Completely agree, but the first thing I'm getting is a left tackle. I got to get, I'm talking like Orlando Brown in free agency, and then I can use Braxton Jones, you know, in 
I'll keep developing him. Maybe he's better at right tackle. I got to get a lockdown stud left tackle. And then I also got to get a three technique that stops the run because we are bad at that. Jalen Carter looks like he would be awesome I, in a I bet you, I bet you right now the first thing that they get is a wide receiver. I bet you any amount of money I'll, they go get that WR. No. First, if they're sitting there at two, I hope he trades back. Oh, no, I'm, just talk, I'm talking about a free agency. I'm not, no, I'm talking about free agency, not the draft. I'm talking about free agency. Um, Maybe. I mean, if they're not bringing David Montgomery back, you better go get a starting running back. And as you said, that list is loaded from Saquon to Josh Jacobs and all these other guys. You better get a back that can carry the mail because – they're going to run the football here, first and yeah. foremost. Good Lord, don't give Justin Fields Saquon Barkley. Oh, my God. Hey, Cap, David Kaplan, host of Cap and Jay Hood, ESPN 1000 Chicago. So one of the kind of little trivia points of this last game is that um, the Green Bay Packers now have the most wins in NFL history, passing the Bears. Is that anything that anyone in Chicago cares about? Is that something people are like, yeah, that now, as you said earlier, we got Justin Fields, here it comes, we're going to take that back. Was that disgust at all in Chicago? Not really. I mean, it was a note in the game notes. Not really, because everybody knows how bad our team is this year. I mean, I don't think they win another game. Who are they beating? Get the bye, then the Eagles, then the Bills, go to Detroit, who's playing really good football. And then finish at Minnesota, or home with Minnesota, who's trying to get the top seed. So, no, I don't think it was a big talking point here. Now, if next year the Bears turn it around and win 10 games and the Packers win seven and the Bears pass them again, I'm sure someone will trumpet it, but it's not that big a deal. No. Cap, uh, I want to ask you about the Bulls for a second. Uh, last year, asked Bad team, were, Jay. Yeah, bad I, team. man. Going down this path for you, losing four straight, lost a sack the other night. Like, what What are your thoughts on them this far? Uh, it falls at the feet. Uh, look, I always put it on the players first, but this falls at the feet of the front office. They went into this offseason knowing everyone that watched that team said, you better get some perimeter shooting, and they did exactly zero to address that. Zero. It's a badly constructed roster, and – Lonzo Ball's not walking through that door. He's still got pain in his knee after two operations. I don't know if that guy's coming back. They have got to start thinking seriously about moving DeMar DeRozan and getting what they can and starting to overhaul this thing because so they don't have their own We're talking about a rebuild, here. Cap? We're talking about a rebuild. That's yes. where we're going. So, yes. like, a team that last year could, could uh, you know, chase the NBA finals to a rebuild. That's where we are. Yes. It's a bad team, Jay. It's not a good enough team. It is not. So maybe more of a retool. They don't have their own pick this year unless it's top four. So uh, I'd rather get the top four because this team's not making a run, I can promise you. Is there talk about what DeMar DeRozan 